Welcome back, my luxurious fleet. I'm on lunch break and I'm freaking starving. Bean burrito, I think I'm gonna have a bean and steak burrito for lunch. And I don't have a lot of time, I gotta get back to work. But before I do, we got some big news. Android Auto has been kind of confirmed. We'll get into the details here in a little bit for Lexus. And then also we have the 2020 model year update. So I'll see you on the other side and let's get into it. Android Auto is coming to Lexus. Finally, I think the Android Google gods. Lexus confirms Android Auto functionality for select models. We'll get into what those models are gonna be in a second. Of course, this is over at my site, not my site, but I refer to them a lot, Lexus enthusiasts. Check them out, guys. They always have good stuff on there. Following the announcement that Toyota would be bringing Android Auto functionality, which I made a video on that as well, to their lineup, Lexus has confirmed that the infotainment option will also be offered on select vehicles. Here's the latest according to Chad Duchene, Duchenne's, Du Deschenes, right? Android Auto will be available in select Lexus vehicles in the future. We will be announcing individual vehicle compatibility at a later time. So Lexus enthusiasts, know they, they know their vehicles pretty well. Android Auto will likely follow the same rollout as Apple CarPlay, which was limited to new model year vehicles equipped with Inform 2.0 Entertainment. We also call these vehicles Gen, Gen 10 models, Generation 10. And that includes LC, LS, RX. So RX is not, the current one will not be getting an update, um, but the 2020 will be. Uh, NX, and we'll talk about when that 2020 RX is going to be hitting the showroom floors. We kind of just got an announcement today. Um, so NX, UX, and ES as it stands. So like I talked about in my Toyota video where I said Toyotas are getting Android Auto update, I said that these vehicles minus the RX at the time, uh, because I didn't have information on the RX when I made that video, that these vehicles will be getting Android Auto possibly through a software update because there's a projection icon on all of them. Right now that leads to Apple CarPlay, but it doesn't say Apple CarPlay on there, it just says projection. So yes, we will be getting Android Auto in Lexus finally for these vehicles. Who knows when? Probably before the end of the year. Uh, the sooner the better. Uh, let's get into the next piece. Next piece is from an internal email we just got today for when the 2020 model year Lexus vehicles are going to be hitting our showrooms. Um, I haven't been with Lexus for that long, so this is the first time I've seen an email like this. It's really cool, really exciting, and let's break it down by each individual model. If you place a custom order um, for the RCF, the 2020 RCF, you will be getting it in March. And so not only custom orders, but orders from the dealership. So we have the RCF coming in March for the 2020 model year. If you place an order in March, you will have a 2020 NX and NX hybrid by May, by May, right there. If you place an order in April uh, for the LC and LC hybrid, you will get it in June. Pretty cool. Orders placed in June. Okay, so this is where it gets really exciting. In August, we will be getting the 2020 LS, LS Hybrid, LX, RXL, RXHL, and GX. But what about the RX? So this is some interesting news here because the RX is slated to get a major minor refresh. There's going to be a big overhaul but they're, they're not gonna overhaul the RXL. They're not gonna update probably that until 2021. So that's really, really interesting. Um, I don't know why they would do that, but if you see here, if you place an order in July uh, for an RX, RX Hybrid and ES, but th this is the interesting stuff. The RX is gonna be refreshed, so we will begin it in September. So it's going to be announced at least in July, if not earlier, for the refreshed RX. But apparently the RXL and the RXHL are not getting refreshed this year, which is a oof, that's going to be a tough sell. It's going to be a really tough sell to sell that RX third row edition since it's not getting updated. But maybe it, maybe it will be, but I don't see that hitting 
before the normal Rx. So that's how I interpret this information. Moving on, September, uh, we're going to have the 2020 GSF, GS, and IS. So the GS is going to be around for another year at least. My guess is that they're going to cancel it in 2021. Hold on, I have a customer calling me. we got to take a quick pause. And we're back. That was a long, long phone call. I am delivering a, well, not me personally, but I'm having a 2014 Cadillac delivered up to Minnesota. So there's a lot of working pieces there that I was just working out. But let's get back into the article here. So I think I just talked about the GSF as well as the GS. So we have another year. Probably in 21 is my guess is where they're going to cancel the GS. I mean, that hasn't been officialized by Lexus themselves, but it's a possibility. Uh, and then IS is going to have another year. And then in 2021 is either going to be a really big refresh or hopefully what I'm, I think it's going to be a redesign. Okay, so August, we have the UX and UX hybrid, um, whatever there, I guess. And then RC which has just been refreshed. We won't see anything new there. So that's kind of interesting stuff. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, yes, Android Auto is coming to our Lexus vehicles probably by the end of this year. Um, and that includes the RX. Your 2020 RX is the refreshed one is going to be here in September, just like I guessed. Um, but let me know what you guys think about this. Hit that like button. I'll see you in the comments below and in the next video. Peace. <laughs>